For the past three years, I've been a pretty big Gypsy supporter and a pretty staunch Nick non supporter. <laughs> And it was to my own detriment sometimes. The attacks my team and I have been subjected to for our thoughts and protectiveness of this family has been a lot. <sighs> oh my god. Friends, I am down the longest, craziest, deepest rabbit hole. And it's all because of Katie Joy Paulson, who has a long, dark enmeshment with the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case. Let's get into it. But more and more things kept popping up that just didn't quite make sense. But really, nothing made sense in all of this, so we sort of just chalked it up to that and went on. I spoke with Gypsy often and Christy daily for over two years. Katie Joy Paulson has been making a huge deal online to her hundreds of thousands of followers about a woman named Fancy Masello, who was a longtime friend and supporter of Gypsy Rose and her mother when Gypsy first went to prison. But things with Gypsy just never really added up. But we tried to be sympathetic to what she had been through. But when this new guy came in the picture as Gypsy's beau, Oh, we began to see a shift in Gypsy's attitude towards us. And but it turns out that Fancy and her team of researchers have had a complete flip-flop on their feelings regarding Gypsy. And they have a lot of shocking things to say about it. And then the other shows were all mounting up and it was causing more stress and tensions and stuff began to grow between Gypsy and our team. And it wasn't pretty. Guys, this is going to honestly be a two-parter, maybe a three-parter. There is so much to discuss here. And in this video, we're specifically... Oh, spookily. But in this video, we're specifically going to take a look at an extremely long post that Fancy made making extremely serious accusations towards Gypsy and her stepmom, Christy. This post from Fancy Maselli has left me with so many questions, so many rabbit holes to head down. So sit back and let's take a listen to what Fancy has to say regarding Gypsy, her father and stepmother, who she was friends with for a period of over three years. Fancy writes, this page used to be called By Proxy. We've been here from the start. If you watch our early stuff or read our articles or watch the documentary I did on Reels channel, then you would know where we started out. Google Fancy Maselli. Trust me, I've been here. For three years, I've defended this family. This is Gypsy Rose and her dad and stepmom relentlessly. I bled, sweat, and teared for them. I was in every group and believed everything. My team came together because we wanted the world to know Gypsy's story in a way that wasn't told before. We wanted to help. It was all good until Ken, the first fiancé, came along. When he came in the picture, we were concerned for Gypsy. When I was asked by Christy to start doing interviews because Gypsy didn't want her doing them anymore, but she wanted to keep the story current, I became the spokesperson for the family. All media contacts were sent to me. Tori and I were asked to comment on the engagement, and we were honest in our feelings. Okay, here's where it gets incredibly creepy, my friends. Fancy Maselli accuses Gypsy Rose and her stepmother Christy of threatening her life and even coming after the rest of her family. I can barely believe this, but this is where Maselli writes, this was where Gypsy started threatening me in any way she could. She threatened my career. She called and threatened my life. Christy tried to get a known scammer to come after us. I'm not the first person Christy has done this to. It's all over the groups from way before me. So Christy, once again, is Gypsy's stepmother, who's going to be very involved in her life from here on out and has been visiting her continuously in prison. 
Okay, so here's what's up with Fancy Maselli. From what I can tell from looking into the background and seeing the interactions that she previously had years ago with Katie Joy Paulson, Fancy Maselli is similar to Katie Joy in that she's a social media creator who does true crime as opposed to Katie Joy's like Sister Wives reality TV show content. And Fancy became very interested in Gypsy's case, but then also became very enmeshed and involved with the family, much like Katie Joy Paulson. According to information um, put out there by Katie Joy Paulson, the claim has been made that Fancy pretended to be a good friend and have connections to a new and upcoming TV channel on which she was going to feature Gypsy Rose Blanchard, her family, and make some kind of a reality show deal for all of them. But allegedly, when none of that came to fruition, Christy, Gypsy Blanchard's stepmom, had a major falling out with Fancy. Let's listen to more of what Fancy has to say about all of this. She pits people against each other to distract when they start questioning her. In fact, that's exactly how I met her. We were stalked and harassed and cyberbullied every day, all while Christy is still working with us and messaging my daughter, who was in surgery, about how concerned she was for her and telling me she loved me and that Dr. Oz wanted to have me on with her. Okay, this is where things start to get really crazy for me down this rabbit hole looking at Katie Joy Paulson and Fancy Maselli's major enmeshment with this family and Gypsy. It's like, really, what is going on here? Who is in all of this for Gypsy Rose Blanchard's best interest? Now, Fancy has a lot to say about Gypsy and potentially the kind of person that she is or she has been um, through Fancy's interactions with her. But I keep coming back to the fact that this is a horribly abused and neglected child who grew into a woman who's only had an opportunity to live inside of a prison. I really want Gypsy to have the best possible opportunities in life and it's very hard to listen to and hear so many people squabbling over her situation and it's clear to me that everyone is a little bit after these big money deals with people like Dr. Oz and we would each get 5k for it like she did when she first appeared but hadn't she said they were never paid it took two years to get her to admit in writing that she was behind all of that. She lied to this woman and told them I cheated on my husband and contact and contracted, oh my God, an STD. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is where I have to break in here and be like, what the F? Are you kidding me? This person was essentially held captive for 20 years of her life drugged and abused, had things taken out of her body like her teeth and organs that were perfectly healthy. And we have some kind of weird, disgusting, toxic game going on between Fancy Maselli, Katie Joy Paulson, and some kind of segment of Gypsy's family. I'm not saying that Christy really participated in all of this because I can't be sure, but it disgusts me what online bloggers will do when they try to get personally involved with these families. Knowing it wasn't that, Facebook groups were open to talk about my moldy cookies and harass my husband. This was Christy doing this, all while begging me to make this stalker stop harassing her. Oh my god, so many questions here. Like, we're talking about harassment, uh, being accused of having STDs. Like, all of this is going around in the background of Gypsy being imprisoned. And you know, essentially, she was supposed to be spending that time getting better, growing healthier, creating a team around her that really cared for her. Um, now, from my understanding, based upon what I've seen Gypsy say online, she is currently standing up against Fancy and making claims that Fancy really screwed over her family and she wants nothing to do with her. Yet, she's also in the midst of talking to, still, Katie Joy Paulson. Um, so it's quite concerning. And 
overly disgusting what's going on with Gypsy. But I have to be honest with you, the accusations from Fancy get more crazy over the top and possibly concrete. Um, It's quite interesting to hear what she has to say about the rest of her time interacting with Christy and Gypsy while she was in prison, as well as her first engagement to a boy um, before the current husband ever came along. Do me a favor, join my Facebook group entitled Gypsy Rose Blanchard Case. I'll link it below. We're going to be talking about all of this in that group. Um, I really want to get a bunch of different perspectives and try to figure out what the hay is going on here. I'm so conflicted and confused about all of the information I'm dredging up. Um, And go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment on this video because I really want to work on getting my true crime videos into the algorithm. So I would forever appreciate it. Um, And I would love to hear your feedback below. Hang in there because either tonight or sometime tomorrow, you will have another video from me finishing going through this crazy blog post. And tonight, I'm going to be recording with the Mothership Explorers. We are doing a podcast about Munchausen's by proxy and talking a little bit about the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case, as well as the recent case that was in the media involving Maya. We have so much to say, and I can't wait to see you over there once that podcast goes up. Much love to all of you. I hope you'll join me down another rabbit hole.